what's up guys it's hanif here in today's video i'm going to be walking you guys through the retouching image process for this image from start to finish i'm going to be showing you guys how i retouch this image from lightroom to photoshop so let's get started with the video <laughs> What's up guys, it's Hanif here. Before we continue with this video, make sure you, you subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And also give a thumbs up and follow my social media handles on the screen. So, um, for this, let me show you guys the before for, of this image, the before and after. So this is a before and after. So this is just Lightroom, the color grading, and basic adjustments in Lightroom. The base, what I did here was um, I increased the temperature a bit because that, was, that always works great for dark skin exposure I did the basic adjustment here I brought down my highlights and uh, my shadows I lifted it up a bit as you can see and my whites I left as this and I brought my blacks down for extra contrast I reduced the saturation because I wanted to give it a more fit saturated look I didn't want too much colors in the uh, image so I reduced the saturation in my tone curve here, what you can see is I added a little bit of fade. Let me see, let me just show you guys without the tone curve. Before the tone curve, that with the tone curve. So I lifted my blacks and my um, mid tones and my highlights a bit. My reds, I didn't, I didn't do anything for my red channel and my green channel. It was my blue channel. I brought it down. I brought the shadows down on my blue channel. That's mostly what I did there yeah and then to add a little bit of um kind of red yellowish to the skin yeah so um i went to my hsl panel i increased the green a bit like i want to leave the green as it is i want to make the green look more natural if you guys check my instagram you guys will see that i made i color graded two versions of this image because i wasn't sure what i was going for and the other version was like the green popped more but for this one, I wanted the greens to not be too much, to not drag too much attention. I just wanted it to be okay. Yeah. So, um, I increased the hue of my green. And then saturation, I reduced it. I reduced the saturation of my green a lot. Like the green was too much, so I reduced it by a lot. And my blues as well. The little bit of blues that were left in the shadows, I reduced that. And then for my split on in, I added a little bit of kind of like blue to highlights. Yeah, and then these three shadows as well. If you guys follow my videos well, you know that this is my constant number for the shadows. The reason I use this is because it most times it matches the skin tone of the model. So yeah, and then my sharpening. I added a little bit of sharpening. I didn't want to add it too much because um, if you see the previous um, color grading I did, I did a little bit too much sharpening so I didn't want to do that for this image because it ended up bringing out the spots on the skin a bit more so it was just kind of hard to look at so I didn't want to sharpen it too much I left it around 13 and then my camera calibration these are the settings I use most times so all you have to do with camera calibration is just play around with it and watch how it goes so that's all I did for Lightroom so the, again this is a before and after of Lightroom. Now let's move over to Photoshop where I did the rest of the adjustments, the skin retouching and all that. All right guys, welcome to Photoshop um, where I finished the retouching of this image. Um, this is by my frequency pressure and other extra adjustments. So I'm going to walk you guys through everything I did in uh, Photoshop. First thing I did was duplicate the layer here, yeah? and then I got rid of is um, the pimples and all that. This is before and after. I use a spot healing brush for this. Yeah, I use a spot healing brush for this because it works very great for that. And the next thing I did was my frequency separation. Yeah, I also did something else. Where is that layer? Yeah, frequency separation. And you guys know where this shine comes from very soon. But this is my frequency separation. I, again, if you are curious about my frequency separation process, check my previous video where I did frequency separation there. And then in future, I will be doing frequency separation from scratch. 
so you guys can um subscribe to anticipate for that yeah now the next thing i did here was i reduced like the green i feel like the green if you can see what i did here i feel like the green in the background was like it popped a bit too much so i selected i selected um the model here then i masked i masked it then i reduced the saturation of just the background green so that it doesn't distract me from the model yeah so because the green in the background was a bit too much i just wanted to reduce the saturation for just that and also the yellows here too was too much so let me work okay, guess what i did here so yellows i reduced the saturation my yellows and then my green so this is before and after yeah and the next thing i did here what did i do here again uh-huh okay yeah the next thing i did here was um I added this um, shining effect, the shining effect to the rings because I felt like I needed to add something more. So I added this shining effect to the ring to give it that glowing effect. Yeah, so it really um, made it more dramatic. Yeah, so it, this is what I did here. Yeah. So um, I also, I deployed a layer, they made the background one blur so as to um, give it that glowing effect make it like it's actually reflecting that's what i did so that was just a png i used for that next thing i did there was um okay i seal the shiny effect how many times did i duplicate this layer oh yeah i remember duplicating this layer multiple times i used it for different parts like okay i did the shining effect uh, i used the shining effect here and i used it here as well so just it just gives it the image more to look at and the next thing i did there was brighten his eyes and teeth that's the next thing i did here i can zoom in i didn't want to make it too much i just made it a bit i used the unmax teeth tool yeah with my research academy panel this panel is a lifesaver so you have to get it and then the next thing i did here the last thing i did here was selective color selective color i didn't do much here really i just um adjusted my rate a bit so i can get a more accurate skin tone just a little bit of color correction per se and then um my greens i adjusted it so it can see the greens change there i added the sands to my greens so the greens don't look too regular but you can see it's still kind of green like you know what i mean yeah so um that's all the retouching i did on this image so this is before photoshop and after photoshop so that's it for this video guys if you like this video as usual make sure to subscribe to my channel for more content like this and i'll see you guys uh, in the next video bye yeah.